Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today we're taking a look at the charging curve of my eight-year-old Tesla Model S. That's right, the 2015 Tesla Model S 70. Not the dual motor, just the rear-wheel drive. Um, I know some people might be looking into these old EVs. Should I get them? Is their charging so terrible it's not worth it? Well, you're going to want to stick around and check this out to see kind of what my thoughts are. Um, with this charging curve and um, if you would want to road trip it, would this be a good vehicle for you or not? So uh, let's just get to the charging curve and let's get into it. Okay, so let's take a look at this charging curve for the 2015 Model S 70. As you saw, we started around 107 kilowatts and it slowly decreases over the entire charge. It's a very linear charge profile. So we're about 10 minutes in at 30%. The first big benchmark we're, we're gonna get to is 50%. So this vehicle, the it says 220 miles. So if at 50%, you'd have about 110 miles, probably more realistic to have 80, maybe 90 miles if you're lucky. So here we are, we're 23 minutes in and we hit 50%. So you might be able to charge to 50 and then move on, but it would probably behoove you to wait a little bit longer. And I'm gonna think maybe 60 to 65% would be good because it would give you probably 100 miles. So there we are, 60%, 32 minutes, not the worst, not the best. Um, and here we are, 37 for 65%. So again, could you travel long distances if you wanted to? Absolutely. Would it be annoying? Absolutely as well. So here we're about to round out the charge profile and we're going to hit 80%. Um, so as you saw, uh, not really the most uh, mind blowing charge curve or charge line in this case. So there it is about 53, 54 minutes. Now here we have the charge curve. Uh, and what I did was I included the Volkswagen ID4, the one we own, the charge I uh, pulled from that uh, quite a while ago. And as you can see, the ID4 just charges way better, way faster than uh, this eight year old Tesla, which was to be expected. And you can actually see that for the most part, it's about 60 kilowatt difference the whole time. So it's almost twice as fast. And at times it's almost 100 kilowatts faster, uh, especially around like 20, 21, 22%. Uh, state of charge. So obviously this is not a road tripper. It's not a fast charger. And um, if you want to get it, hopefully you really enjoy waiting <laughs> because that's what you're going to do a lot of. But obviously this car, it's super nice. Um, it, it drives really well. It's very comfortable for the most part. I'm not saying the most comfortable car, but it's pretty comfortable. So if you want an affordable uh, used Tesla option, just for daily commuting, I think it's a fine car. If you want a road trip, probably not the best. All right, everybody, so that is it. The charging curve of the Tesla Model S uh, 70 from 2015. Uh, not that great, um, but again, this car, if you're gonna get it, I would just get it so you could charge at home and then you can take it to and from work. You don't have to worry about the DC fast charging curve. And if you had to take the occasional longer trip, you could definitely do it, um, but it's gonna take you some time to do that, which, you know, was 10 to 80 and 54 minutes, you know, not the best. Uh, my Volkswagen ID4 can do 10 to 80 in 28, 29 minutes. Um, the Ionic 5 can do, was it 10 to 80 or five to 80 in 18 minutes? So you can see where, you know, it takes a lot longer than a lot of the newer vehicles, but for the occasional, you'd probably be okay with it. So I don't know. Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you all have to think. Uh, but aside from that, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, uh, follow me on X. I do post a lot there and I'd love if you all could follow me there. It's just at the average EV and uh, I'll catch you all next time. See you later.